Drugs can be classified by their name, which can be generic, chemical, trade, or brand. There are also legal classifications such as prescription, non-prescription, and controlled substance. A drug can also be classified by its action or reactions. It is important to know both the generic and trade name of a drug because sometimes physicians will use the generic name of a drug while others may be using the trade name. The chemical name of a drug will describe the actual chemical structure of a drug. For example, C13H18NO2 is the molecular formula for ibuprofen. The generic name is the name given to the drug when it becomes commercially available. It is usually simpler, but delivered from the chemical name. The original manufacturer usually gives generic names to medication before it receives official approval by the federal government. These names are specific to the drug, but not to the company manufacturing the drug. For example, Ibuprofen is the generic name for Motrin. While the brand name, trade name, proprietary name, trademark, or commercial names all describe the same, it is the name given to a drug by a specific company. It is usually short, simple, and easy to understand. Each company can select its own brand name so that the same drug can have different brand names. Many drugs have similar trade names, so it is critical to know the exact name and spelling of the drug that you are working on in each situation. For example, Ibuprofen is the generic name for Motrin and Advil. Motrin and Advil are the brand names. They both have the same active ingredients. According to the federal laws, drugs are legally listed as prescriptions or non-prescriptions. Prescription drugs also have a higher legal classification. These are controlled substances. Prescribed drugs are also called legend drugs. These drugs require an order by a legally authorized health practitioner. Prescriptions must specify the name and age of the patient the name of the drug, and the dosage regimen to be followed. Prescription drugs are dispensed by a licensed pharmacist or doctor. While non-prescription drugs or over-the-counter OTC drugs may be legally obtained without a prescription. Drugs classified as controlled substances may have even further restrictions than prescription drugs. A state can be stricter than the federal government in issuing mandates such as the Controlled Substances Act, but they cannot be less strict. These drugs need a prescription and documentation and the tracking of the name of the patient 
and the dosage given. Examples are narcotic pain relievers, sedatives, hypnotic drugs, anti-anxiety drugs, and stimulant medications. Regardless of the classification, drug dosage should be carefully followed because of toxic side effects if they are misused or used in combination with other drugs. Drugs with similar chemical actions are grouped into categories called drug families. For example, drugs that relieve pain are classified as analgesics. This is a very convenient way to classify a drug for study purposes, but it is not a very reliable or exclusive because one drug may have several different physiologic effects on the body and will be listed under more than one category. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.